Good morning, everyone. My name is Noksang Malna Jamir. I'm from the English department of BA 6 semester, representing Tetsu College. Today, the poem I'm going to be presenting today is titled Names. Fun fact about me, I have two birth certificates with two different names. So there was kind of an identity crisis going on around that. And names have something that holds us to our culture, to our family's past. So this poem is about that. So I'll just start. What is a name if not generations of culture trying to survive the modern world? This is my name. This is my duty. This is the history left behind. What is a name if not hope born from pain? My name is Noksang Manla. It means to be picture perfect. With this name, I carry my family's bloodline. And though I have tried to change myself in so many ways, one fact is hard to deny. With duty sewn into my bones and grief pressing down my throat, I resemble my father to a point that it can't help but make chlorified sons choke. I used to be Song Liban, a hope to bring change. With this name, I held on to the hope that I would be someone great, or perhaps simply someone better. But in the end, I was only chasing nameless shadows that only gave me bitter resentments and regrets. So there I was, standing between the devil and the deep sea. I was half my father's sadness, the other half my mother's supposed sin. I was my grandfather's greatest joy and the evidence of my grandmother's loss. I know that some might think my words are bitter. And honestly, I don't think I can say anything that might sound sweeter. But listen to me when I say this. Someone on the safe shore won't understand the desperation of a drowning man. You see, Songdi was my childhood. She was my innocence and naivety. She was every 11-11 wish, every shooting star and fallen eyelash. She was an effortless ease that hoped for the best and held on to that ideal, even when her hands bled. Nok Sang was the adulthood I was never ready for. She is my responsibility, my grievances, my anger, and my endless rage. She is the voice that reminds me, always have a plan B. She is the dark corner of my room and the very pedestal that I built with my own two hands. She is flawed, I admit, haunted constantly by questions that keep on asking her why. Why not me? She is flawed, I admit. But oh, if you could just see how she holds Sunday in the palms of her hands, giving her all the love she has only ever dreamt of. I know that unlike what my name entails, pictures, they fail to define me. But names have certain power. It's an age-old truth that one can't deny. Songli was a belief for a good life. Noksang was the embodiment of my grandfather's pride. So I stand here before you today, holding this testament in my hand. I will bring change just as Songli wanted, and I will find peace just as Noksang hoped for. These are the duties of my names. And you know what? I'm gonna have it all. Thank you.